Hi friends, now allergies are on the rise and here I am sharing story of a patient who was suffering from allergic rhinitis and he used to sneeze very often and was quite dependent on allopathic medication. We gradually helped him overcome this condition with the help of Indian flower remedies and now he is very well. So I actually have something called as sinusitis, uh, which gives me a uh, cold due to allergy. It could be because of dust. I might have eaten something um, wrong or something, and then I wake up in the morning with um, extreme wet cold where I'm sneezing throughout the day. So that's the issue that I had, which I had consulted doctor for. So I actually, uh, before uh, taking flower remedy, I was uh, very used to taking this medicine called as Cetzine, which is an anti-allergy me uh, medicine and uh, I was almost having about two Cetzines a week. Uh, so that is something that I was on to, uh, you know, suppress the symptoms of sinusitis. Of course, so quite a lot. In fact, uh, after I started taking flower remedy, I my set zines, which almost were about you can say eight to ten set zines a month, came down to maybe two set zines a month. Um, overall, the uh, amount of times I was falling sick uh, reduced a lot. It helped uh, increase my immune system, so we worked heavily on that, and we we were also working heavily on the way my digestive system was working. So lesser uh, foods were affecting me. Uh, that is how it helped. Uh, allopathy is suppressing your system. Flower remedy is actually treating it from within. And while it's a slower process, I feel the results are a lot more stronger. Um, I think within a week itself. So in within a week itself, it starts reducing. But I think uh, over three months of uh, doing it, it substantially reduced. So uh, there's a basic procedure that we follow. There are uh, three small, uh, you know, so ba basically it comes in a powder form and then you have your basic uh, small sugar tablets. So three in the morning, three in the night, that's basically it, it's custom, right? So a doctor would keep changing it depending on how she saw the improvements were coming sometimes when I needed uh, a booster so we were having the powder and uh, you know when we thought that okay it's having it's it's, it's going con consistent and fine so we were only on the tablets but yeah that is how it was so it's I think it's it's custom to every time I visited and then the kind of progress we were making we kept changing it as to that I mean, it's it's very different. More than water, uh, it's it's unheard of. Uh, a lot of people also mistake it with uh, homeopathy, right? Which is a different treatment altogether. It's similar, but it's quite different. So, of course, and I didn't know uh, you know much about it, but I thought let me just dive in, give it a shot, and see how well it works for me. And yeah, it worked like magic. So since then, I've also recommended a lot of people to uh, you know visit doctor and uh, see how can they benefit from it. Of course, I mean, um, th there are a lot of common notions that all of us follow and things that we've heard or, uh, you know, we're, we're too used to things taking effect quite immediately. So when we visit uh, doctors and take allopathic medicines, it's uh, immediate suppression. So we think that is actually uh, helping, but something which is a long standing condition, which is like mine and, uh, you know, something that does not have allopathy effects at all. And it just keeps recurring, coming back. I would suggest that alternate medication is something to move on to and uh, Dr. Rupa has been extremely helpful with uh, you know helping me in this entire journey and um, helping me solve this issue of mine.